Hello, welcome back for more Sims 3. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I feel better. Grumpy made me a soda. I did a little stretchy stretch. Very important. I hate stretching, but it's necessary. <laughs> how are you all doing? Justine, how are you? Isn't it getting late there or is it early? I, I think, are you eight hours ahead of me? I'm not quite sure. Also, Angel, did you end up downloading or reinstalling Sims 3, or are you working on your dinner? Oh my gosh, I know, Justine. Isn't it so sweet? Well, and she's so, she's so sweet, and she, like, always really wants to, like, participate in that kind of stuff. And so, <laughs> you know, being only, it's 7.17 a.m. Wednesday. Oh my gosh. Well, happy Wednesday for you. I'm glad it's not 7 in the morning for me. But I know she's just like literally the most amazing little human. Networking is key. Hey Sage, this is your agent. Listen, I know you're awesome. You know you're awesome. But let's face it, you could be even more awesome. There's a celebrity named Aria Trill that I think you should meet. Knowing the right people is the key to staying famous. Am I right? I, I don't know. But okay. Um, so I guess we need to go meet this person. It feels like it's nighttime here because it's so gloomy. The weather is so cold. That's how it is here, too. Like, you can see on the goat cam that it's all rainy and gross. <laughs> like, which, honestly, I am grateful for because we've just had so many really bad forest fighters and stuff in Washington State and in Oregon and even, I think, in, like, British Columbia, Canada. And so I'm grateful for the rain. But it also is, like, cold. Like, I think by the time Tiny Totes gets off the after-school bus, uh, I will be... Not just cuddled up with my Udi, but probably inside of it. <laughs> okay, we need to go meet the Trill household. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see if I can move that there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, luckily, you don't have to drive anywhere or anything, but it's just gross to be outside. And, and because it's getting rainy and cold outside, oh, well, we went to work. Oh, well, I guess we'll do that after work. <laughs> But because it's rainy and cold outside, it's like all the like bugs and small outside creatures keep trying to get inside and I hate them. <laughs> Literally, Marlo was over this weekend and we were like sitting on my bed watching the new season of Dead End and <laughs> I hope that you're doing very well. Also, whoa, since you've never seen The Sims 3, welcome to The Sims 3. It is a wild time. Sage McPoopin's co-worker Mix It Up needs a test subject for a new substance that was created. Does Sage McPoopin want to participate in a free sampling test? Sure. Drinking that mislabeled liquid seems to have affected Sage, but don't worry, it's not contagious. Afraid of the dark. Heading inside or find a bit of sunlight will take care of this cowardly affliction from work. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes, we are sponsored by Magic Spoon. When Tiny Totes gets off the bus in about an hour and a half or so, she's going to help me put in our order for our variety pack. So that way next week we get to try it on stream. And if you would like to get $5 off your first purchase of Magic Spoon, you can do so at the code the link below and use stream code or use code stream 2014 2104 don't listen to me stream 2104 <laughs> to get five dollars off your first purchase doing that and meaning to try them yay i know i i don't think i would like for me i don't think i would have tried them if they hadn't if, if they hadn't been sending me the boxes for free to try because like you know, money's tight and trying new things is hard. <laughs> and so I'm so grateful for the opportunity to try it. And I am very excited to eat cereal. I'm a little nervous that I'm going to only want that cereal, but it's fine. <laughs> it is fine. But yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I think that there's even, I don't know what happens on the, with the overlay. It's over there, there. 
somewhere on the other side when someone puts in an order using the code, but it's cool. Fancy. Fancy. But it'd be fun too, like if folks do want to try it out and use the code to order, it'd be fun like if you wait to try it until I'm trying ours. I think we're gonna try ours on Halloween actually. Spooky. But it'd be fun to be able to like try it together. So that way if it is bad, because I can't say anything if it's bad, because they have a like if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. So if I'm silent, you'll know why when we're trying it. But I'm going to see how long it takes to get here, right? I think it's like, so the sponsorship is a 21-day process. And the way that they make it sound is like, I feel like I'll have it within a week. And so maybe, so, but that's, that's true. Who, who really knows? What are you doing? chatting with someone oh uh why don't you oh the reason you haven't gotten your dealy bob your promotion well, i guess you did get your promotion but you should practice your gardening mm -hmm. but yeah and and don't worry you don't you can do exclamation point magic spoon to get the link but stream elements will make sure you have it <laughs> Stream Elements chatbot just has one job <laughs> and it's given that info for us. Oh, we just grasped the basics of gardening and got some bean seeds. How do I plant them? Can I plant them? It's snowing out. I probably can't plant them anywhere. Can I? What's down here? Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Bye. Stream Elements pulling us all together. <laughs> it's true. Like, oh, there's a gentleman sleeping. Wayne, Wayne, I know you have a home. Why are you on the bench? It's cold. We're getting good at gardening. We're doing it. Oh. But yeah, I'm excited. I most, mostly am just excited for Fruit Loop, for fruity cereal. But. I'm going to wait to, like, peruse the website more fully till Tiny Totes gets here, because I think that she'll be really excited about it. Do we need to do a subscription? No, actually, uh, if you do a subscription, it does nothing for me, which is one of the reasons why I said yes to it, because I don't like the subscription stuff. So it's any first-time purchase of a bo of cereal or bars. And so, um, so, it, so, like, whatever purchase you make they give me $25 for it, which is cool. Um, or pay me, I guess. They don't give it to me. I earn it. <laughs> As a kid, I was also very obsessed with the fruity and chocolatey cereals. Yeah. Like, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, just, like, is it rainbow? I really like Lucky Charms, and I don't think they have a Lucky Charms knockoff, which makes me a little bit sad. But I actually, I have, like, real-life Lucky Charms, so. So definitely wait for the kiddos, right? They're the boss for this type of food. Absolutely. Very important. You're a Rice Krispies person. I wonder, because I know they've got the, like, Frosted Flakes, which kind of makes me think of, like, Rice Krispies. But Rice Krispies, too, are already, like, gluten-free. I don't think they're grain-free. And, um... It has, like, no sugar. Ooh. <laughs> well, I feel like most... I don't know. I feel like a lot of cereal has a lot of sugar now. Lucky Charms is basically just sugar. Uh, were you the kind of Lucky Charms kid? So here's the kind of Lucky Charms kid I was. And then you can tell me what kind of Lucky Charms kid you are. So when I was a child, and sometimes as an adult... I would just, I just want the marshmallows, right? Lucky Charms are just a vehicle for me to eat marshmallows in a somewhat societally acceptable way. And so I would have like dry cereal, but if I knew that if I just ate the marshmallows, then I wouldn't eat the dry, like the grain part. And my, and I, that has, that had happened and it upset my dad very much because I just left him with a bowl of the boring part of the cereal. And so I started instead, what I would do is I said, okay. I can eat all these marshmallows, but first I have to 
eat all of the icky parts, all the grain, not icky, but like the just like less good parts, like all the boring parts. So I ate all the little grain pieces first and then I had I would have a pile of marshmallows and I would be eating my pile of marshmallows. And I have this memory of my dad walking into the room and me sitting there with just a bowl of Lucky Charms marshmallows, just like chowing down and his suspicion and like of like, I, die. I told you that you can't just eat the marshmallows. And I was like, no, but I didn't. And he, <laughs> to be fair, I there were times where I definitely ate all the grain first and times where I separated it all and then put all like the grain bits back. Yay, there is your thingy. So cool. Thank you for helping to support the stream and to try the Magic Spoon cereal. Bum, 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 bum. So cool. I'm so excited. Did it say on your shipping, like, when it will approve? Oh, but yeah, so there were definitely times where I separated my lucky, like, the, the marshmallows from the non-marshmallows. And were there a few times where I put all of the non-marshmallows back into the box? Absolutely. <laughs> definitely wish I could try less than four boxes, but we shall see. Oh, interesting. So it required you, in order to, to, to like... Was it because like they only come in the in four packs? Dad watching you right now saying these are <laughs> keep going, tell me what you said to me. It's true. It's true. <laughs> he knew, he knew. Four or six. Interesting. That is interesting. Because that makes me think, like, you have like, that's a hard thing to do, like to order on the regular. And so like order to try to get four, like. I'm excited to have four different kinds because, like, I know, like, I'll have a different kind that I want and a kind that Tiny Totes will want and a kind that Grumpy will want. So that kind of makes sense. But, like, to have that be the only options. So, like, when we when we go to fiddle around with it, I'm, I'll... Because it's, like, just me. Not like a giant family of kids, right? I mean, hopefully it lasts. Or you can have, you know what you could do is have, like, a cereal party. <laughs> Or maybe convince boyfriend to come visit and say, hey. And this old Zorpa's hair is grumpy. Hi, grumpy. But yeah, that is interesting that you can't... Now I'm curious. I'm going to look. So there's bundles, cereal, or bars. Yeah, and it looks like it's all variety pack cereal case. Which maybe... I wonder if the reasoning for that is for, like, shipping purposes... But yeah, I mean, it's like not cheap without the discounts. It's, you know, $10 a box. For, but when you go to the grocery store and you look in like the healthy cereal aisle, like most of those healthy, like marketed healthy cereals are around like 8 to $10 for a box. At least the ones at the Fred Meyer that we've gone to, which is why I just buy Lucky Charms <laughs> or knock off Lucky Charms. But yeah, that is interesting. But who knows? Maybe you'll get the four boxes and then you'll be like, oh, this wasn't enough. <laughs> it's really just their way of like them saying like, no, 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 you will be addicted to the cereal. You need four boxes. <laughs> Only five dollars shipping. That's not too bad. I wonder if it's be like. But it's only five dollars shipping because it's all in one box. And so I wonder if like because I think about shipping a lot, too. If you subscribe, you get 25 percent off. That's kind of how uh like lizzo's stuff is like uh if you're if you're if you're a subscriber then uh i think it's actually more like if you're a member then you get a big discount on all the stuff on her store someone has gotten tiny totes to think the only good cereal is the name brand <gasps> who would teach her such a thing it couldn't be me <laughs> i don't think it's me is it me am i the problem grumpy grumpy <laughs> Grumpy, is it me? Oh God. Okay, it is me. <laughs> okay, I'm focused. We're simming. It, it's not me. You are the only one left. I am not. There are other people in her life. Uh, we should go back to school. I don't think the phone's gonna get worse. We'll just repair it and um, we can't really grow anything here. So let's what's 
So wait, I, I'm really curious. Make bed. Is the bed what was making the house dirty? Yes. That one unmade side of the bed made the entire house minus 18 mood. Oh, we're running. She will only eat name brand Fruit Loops and for me the other ones taste bad. I do think, like, I like Marshmallow Mateys, but I I do think that the, the like, knockoff Fruit Loops often don't taste right. And so that makes sense. I can understand that. I remember, like, when I was a kid, the difference between Sprite and 7-Up was so upsetting to me because everyone told me it was the same. I'm like, it's not. They taste different. <laughs> Taste bad sounds exactly like a totes phrase. Yeah. Okay. And we want to go back to school. So we've repaired our phone. We're going to enroll. Oh, no. Enroll in university. 7-Up is way better. It's so different. I love Sprite. 7-Up seems way too sweet for me. I think I like Sprite better for the same reason. And I think, like, I have this memory of being at a hotel with my parents. My mom had some kind of conference. And, um... I'm like, why is it telling me I can't do this? But it can. Okay, let's go finish our technology degree. Yes. Pepsi is too sweet, which is why I can't, I can drink Coke. Yeah, I, I only drink diet stuff now as an adult, mainly because of the sugar. Like, I don't like the way regular Coke or regular Pepsi make my teeth feel. And so, like, even, like, we do soda stream, and so, like, all of my soda flavors are diet, just because, like, even the non-diet soda stream flavors still do, like, weird sugary things to my teeth. And so... I am, like, I will say, like, I can eat a lot of cereal. Like, I can eat an entire giant box of Lucky Charms in a single day and be sick and feel sad about it, but I can do it. So four boxes <laughs> might not last very long in my house if they're really good. Oh. Okay. We're heading to university. Off to learn some things. The only diet... Oh, man. Oh, you know what we discovered? Our My brother-in-law, Dan, um, shared it with us. And it's a sparkling hops water. So it's non-alcoholic, but it's basically, like, sparkling water, but with, like, infused with hops flavor. Like, from actual hops. And it is so good. It has none of the sweetness that a lot of, like sparkling waters will have but it's just like mm, so good i wish i could we it, they don't have it at our local store as far as i've been able to see but man i could i could just chug a case of that you cannot have the diet sodas because they taste odd yeah it's probably the aspartame i think that's one of the reasons i liked the soda stream stuff is because once i we switched over to that like um some of the diet sodas that have like the aspartame in them definitely like taste different. They hit a little different. You're in the region of the country polar seltzer is made, so you're a polar grapefruit. Ooh, that sounds really good. I love seltzer water. I, I, so I always say, like, I hate water. I just hate water that is, uh, unflavored. <laughs> or actually, not even unflavored, uncarbonated. I think for me, it's the carbonation. And I don't know why that is, but, like, I need my beverages to either be hot or carbonated. Which I think is why I don't love wine. But I do like mulled wine. Hot. Um, I'm not a, I'm not anti-sparkling wine, but it's often too sugary. And so, like, I can have a glass of, like, cheap Andre's sparkling wine and I will be on on the floor on my butt for days <laughs> okay so we lived in the sorority last time and it was rough so i think this time you know i think it might just be time to have our own little house let's let's have the pool party house oh this is a sorority is it a different sorority than the one we just lived in no, that's where we lived before, and it's covered in dirty laundry. I'm not going to leave there. 
You're on Lisinopril and have the Lisinopril cough that only fizzy drinks cure, but I'm a sparkling, like, Moscato fan, because that's the only wine that is not dry enough for me. <laughs> not dry enough, yes. I hate water unless it is carbonated, literally. But, so, that's interesting, the Lisinopril cough. I wonder if it's, because I've had, like, histories of heartburn, and I used to be a smoker, and so, like, I'll always have, like, a morning cough because of that. Uh, don't smoke, kids. If you can avoid it, please do. It's, it sucks. Uh, but, and so I wonder if part of that is why I've always been like, no, it needs to be carbonated is because it like helps the former smoker cough stuff. That would make sense. Um, because regular water just doesn't. You're taking a homework break. Let's go. Amethyst, isn't it like almost eight o'clock for you? I think it's time for Sims. I think it's Sims time. Sims time. Sims time. It gets through any phlegm stuff. Yeah. I think that's why, like, I I can have a cup of sparkling water and a cup of regular water, and I will feel more hydrated after a cup of sparkling water, even though it is not at all different. I don't think we need, like, a giant... Oh, but if we get a big house, we can choose our roommates. This is a five-bedroom. I like the idea of her still having roommates, though. So maybe we could do... Let's do this little house. It's four bedroom. Yes! Sims time for Amethyst! I'm really hopeful that Angel is making their chicken teriyaki, and then they're gonna play Sims 3. <laughs> You right knocked out now. three out of 11 assignments? Right Let's in. go! That's so good. Okay. How do we get roommates? Mm, roommate services. Enable roommate services. Okay. Roommates will start arriving at 9 a.m. Holy moly, 7,000 simoleons will be collected and rent every week from the roommates? Our... Well, we're gonna make a bunch of money while we're in school, living in this nice house. <laughs> Start playing Spirit Fair yesterday and you have a new addiction. Let's go. To be fair, once I know about <laughs> this one, once you know about this one specific one, I can knock out three more. That can um, be done until I do the main one. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, apparently. Just, I don't know. I remember, uh, so when I was at university, I lived in, an, uh, like, I was off campus by, like, I was, like, a 20-minute drive off campus in an apartment because I was working and everything. But my, I remember my friend Dana, who sometimes here in chat and pops around the goat barn and stuff, but I remember I went with her because she was renting a room near UW, University of Washington, while we were going to school there. And it was so interesting because, like, they've taken all of these houses. I, I would assume because the electricity and water will be used more. I don't know. But I would assume the bills would go up. But I just remember, like, so the entire, like, mile, basically, around the University of Washington has all these really cute houses and stuff. But they've all been com converted into, like, basically, like, uh apartments like one room apartments right so there was one house that we went to look at that was i'm trying to remember i'm gonna say roommate services max number of roommates seven no 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 that's probably part of the problem this is a three bedroom house um or four bedroom house so i can say three roommates and then mm, set roommate type women no boys allowed um okay yeah so now that it's done to, now, that makes way more sense so now that it's down to only three roommates so one room one roommate per per bedroom it's three thousand a week which i still think is less than our bills okay oh i guess this room technically has okay wait let's count so We'll assign this room to us. And then we've got one, two, three, four more beds. Is that right? One bed, two bed, 
Rebed four. Okay, so I guess we can say four roommates. Maximize rental revenue. Uh, how come I'm playing three and not four? Oh, oh, we finished the story. So long story short, um, they had taken a house that looked pretty much just like this one and taken all of these rooms and they turned it into a 20 bedroom house. And so basically the rooms were the size of this bathroom with a bed and there were 20 of them on a three in a three story house. It, and that was really normal. And that's very normal for that area because they charge still. Well, so this was, I don't know what they're charging now, but that may be interesting to look at. But this was what, 2008, 2009. And they were charging like $600 a month for a bathroom size space with, and that's, it was crazy wild uh but yeah so i'm playing sims 3 because i started to play sims 4 but i my uh debug is like my build by and tool and stuff are out of date and i did not have the right ones on there and it messed up all my ui stuff and i was like i'm not gonna spend the time to deal with that right now because i don't even know quite what i want to do in the sims 3 or sims 4 today anyway so instead let's play sims 3 because that's what i've been playing a lot <laughs> off stream <laughs> And one of the things I like about streaming Sims 3, which I'm learning today, is that because the autonomous activity of the Sims, like, w just functions better, I'm a I feel like I'm more able to, like, blabber talk while we're playing and not feel like, oh, no, I have to, like, micromanage every single second of my Sims day. Oh. Yes, you're thinking about dinner. My thoughts, Grumpy, are I have some of that spicy, I don't know if it's spicy, but I have some sipping soup, some corn chowder sipping soup. I would like that for dinner very much. Um, and I actually am probably ready for that now. Some hot soup sounds very good as it is getting chillier and chillier as the sun goes down. Okay. Let's do a study group. We should probably try and meet our new... Are these our new roommates? Shay and Margaret will do charming introductions. So everyone will be in love. <laughs> and everybody come and study. They're all so cute. Okay. All right, roommates. It's study party time. Let's all study together. You're playing on your phone. That's... <laughs> this is more people than I can handle at once. I've got to get out of here. Are you sure? Know how to have a good time. Call me anytime or for fun or whatever you concoct. Okay. This is more people than I can handle at once. Interesting. So, for two of our roommates... Having five people sitting around the table oh. is too much. Oh. Oh. I'm the only one studying. Our other two roommates are just looking at their phones, talking about music, which I guess is fine. Uh, sweet corn and poblano, please. Mm, let's, I'm going to study hard. No fooling around. Good night, roommates. I'm studying. Oh, okay, time for class. Or, oh no, it's the student meeting. Great, okay. Off we go. We have arrived. But yeah, it's like, that's like what it means open world. It's like we literally like walk, well, run, because Sims can't walk in Sims 3. But we like run over to the student union. We don't have to wait for a loading screen. Why is everybody freaking out? Oh, we should get some... Let's read about class schedule, read about curriculum, talk to professor, get freebie. Give me all the freebies. Freebie. Freebie. Oh, my things are full. Okay. Okay, we have said hello to our room. Oh my god. No, where are you going? Did you go all the way back home to greet your roommate? I asked you to greet forever ago. That's it's fine. 
Harold Assange invited Sage Poopin, McPoopin to an upcoming party. Congratulations on your acceptance to Sim University. Rewarding successful careers await you with the best jobs going to graduates with the highest grades. When, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> So how do I earn high grades, you ask? Good question. Regardless of how many classes you take, you'll earn one comprehensive grade for the entire term, and it's based primarily on your exam scores. To do well on your exams, your academic performance should be as high as possible when you take the exam. Being in a good mood and getting a good night's sleep won't hurt either. Academic performance is increased by going to class, attending lectures, participating in outside class activities, and studying. You have also been given a special study object related to your specific major, a very useful tool for building your academic performance. Classes begin tomorrow and are held every Monday and Wednesday. Tuesdays and Thursdays are for outside class activities and attending lectures in the student union building. On Fridays, you'll go back to the classroom to take exams, refer to the academics panel for your schedule, grades, and other information. And then, okay, this is specifically about the the Bush School corn and peppers, or I I said grumpy, I said corn. I, I I thought I did, didn't I? You might just not have been able to hear me at the moment. Um, but but speaking speaking of that. For me, I really like corn. What do you like about corn? It's cold, a big little bit off, it has the juice, it has the juice, it has the juice, it's cold, I can tell you all about it, I mean, look at this thing, when I try this, I don't have anything to <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, yeah, The Sims 4, I don't know, I didn't know that it was today, but there was an X, I haven't played The Sims 4 since the last time I was streaming Sims, but, um, yes, my understanding is that there was an update at some point, which I guess it was today, and it was a big enough update that, like, there's a new, like, UI tutorial system and stuff, and I was just like, I just can't. Do you have mods and stuff in your game, Tipo? Because I also know, I think that, like, now you can officially download, like, switch over to the EA app instead of the Origin app. Um, There was an update on the 18th that one did do mods. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Better Build By is not working. Uh, it really messed up my UI. So um, if you can play without it, go ahead and take it out. Uh, I'm sure their Twisted Mexi is usually super fast about getting their updates out. So. Okay, I want to read the Welcome to the Bush School of Science at Sims University. Tomorrow's technology will come from today's technology students, and for that reason, the faculty are totally committed to your success. All technology students receive a brain-enhancing machine when they declare their major. This ingenious device can boost your academic performance when used outside the classroom, but it's also a necessary tool for in-class activities. Be careful not to fry your neurons! Classes, lectures, and class activities are required for all students, but engineers must learn by doing. Technology majors receive extra credit for building their handiness, logic, and inventing skills. Every Titan screw will pay off when you've got your Sims University degree in hand. Technology graduates may join the law enforcement and military careers at higher levels with higher pay than Sims without their special expertise. The better your grades, the greater these professional perks will be. Our faculty wishes you the best of luck in your academic endeavors, and welcome again to Sims University. <clears throat> oh, Twisted Mexi said that can't do the EA app yet. Oh, interesting. I haven't switched. To I still have my Origin app, but... God. Um... <laughs>
Ow! Hey.